the next technique or recommendation when it comes to becoming conscious while dreaming, aka essentially like classic lucid dreaming stuff, we'll be talking about intention. So intention is crucial to the success of any technique with regards to dream consciousness or becoming conscious, you know, partway through, um, you know, any, any random dream, its significance is multiplied. An elevated uh, degree of intention operates as a powerful method of mental programming. This technique is performed before falling asleep by affirming a strong desire to become conscious while dreaming. And then to kind of link this back to the previous video when I was talking about remembering dreams or having good dream recall is when you're setting your intention to, you know, hopefully or to want to get lucid in some dream during the night, it's also good to set the intention to want to be able to recall and remember a lot of your dreams. And then something I forgot to add into the previous videos, once I start to string together like multiple days of, you know, recording a lot of dreams, being really good with my dream journal, it tends to be this positive feedback loop, loop and it becomes easier for me to recall more dreams with, with each subsequent night. So that can be a really good thing there. And then when it comes to, you know, setting that strong intention to, you know, want to get lucid, you know, for me, it's just the kind of natural thing I always do. Like every time I go to sleep, I'm always hoping to have a lucid dream. You know, sometimes I'll throw in like affirmations along with that too, where, you know, it could be anything. You could like, as you're going to sleep, be repeating this mantra essentially in your head. Like I will remember a lot of my dreams and I will get lucid tonight. For me personally, though, I like to keep it as short as possible and I like to link it up to my breath. So like kind of like, you know, two words essentially. So like I'll inhale like I am and I'll think in my head on the exhale, lucid. And then I'll just keep doing that as I fall asleep. And then it also has the added benefit of helping me to get lucid or stay lucid, I should say, as I hit um, stage one of sleep hypnagogia and then play around in that space. So it can work good for that as well. And then another one that I really like to do is kind of just building this, um, you know, internal confidence into yourself to um, set intentions. So one good way to kind of rep this out is to try and beat your alarm awake. So say if you got to wake up at 6 a.m., set your alarm for like 6.02 or 6.05 if you want more of a cushion there. And then try to wake up before your alarm goes off. And, you know, once you start stringing a bunch of like, you know, successful hits at that, it tends to feed back into itself and make it easier for me to beat my alarm awake. I mean, that's how I wake up most days, actually. Then once you kind of get that confidence built in, then you can start doing like, say, I want to try and get lucid at like 2 a.m. or I want to wake up at 2 a.m. And sometimes I might have the effect of actually like having you do this brief awakening right around 2 a.m. But then also it can also have the um, effect of say around 2 a.m. You just wake up, but you come a little bit online and you get conscious within the dream. You don't totally wake up. And then, you know, I'll be playing in that space. And then when the dream does end, I'll glance at the clock and it'll be like, oh, hey, you know, it's like 2.15. I guess I was pretty accurate on that. And then you can build more confidence in it. Then it's again, that positive feedback loop thing. But anyway, um, we'll wrap it up there. Until the next video, keep your face practice legit.